Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to some of you, depending on where you're watching from. I am Pastor Maxwell Ekenen Nawihe. I am the Senior Pastor of the Springs International the Appointed Place, and I'm reaching you from Port Harcourt in Nigeria, precisely via Land. I have a specific prophecy for a female IPOB Principal Officer and her group. This prophecy is for a female IPOB Principal Officer and her group. And after that, I will proceed with a message that may affect one or two persons, if time permits. This female principal officer of IPOB and her group have been carrying out certain activities of intimidation, diabolical acts and gangsterism against some IPOB members and principal officers. And they have been doing it in a very coded way. They have been doing it in a very, very coded way that some of you that know her can even swear that she, she, she can never ever carry out such activities. She has been doing it, she and her group, in a secret, in a very coded way. I've discovered that God doesn't want his children to perish in iniquity. And anytime there is danger coming ahead of them, God sent a message across in order to salvage them, in order to pull them out of that very disaster or doom or danger and that is exactly what god want to do right now for them father in the name of yeshua i pray for this your daughter and her group and other persons that are going to receive a message through this video that will guide them into obedience by your spirit deliver those of them that are doomed to die thank you father in the name of yeshua i pray amen I say that God sends warning across to those who are heading for destruction. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6 says, And if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Seven. So thou, O son of man, Maxwell Ekenenawe, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. I will give you prophecy for them and you will give it to them. You will hear something from my mouth concerning them and you will relay it to them. I have said it before that I am an echo chamber of the voice of God. What God says is what I echo. Now, this woman is popular and she is strong. She and her group have been carrying out these activities and acts of intimidation, gangsterism, and diabolism in such a coded way that it appears that they are acting on the orders of Mazin Amdekan, whereas they are not acting on the orders of Mazin Amdekan. Even though she is very good in some of her, in some of her official assignments, she has been carrying out some of her official assignments very, very well. But these other activities of hers and that of her group are bringing stain to the name IPOB and also Mazen Amdekan. Their activities denigrate, their deviant activities denigrate the name IPOB and Mazen Amdekan. And some people have been tempted to believe that for the fact that she is still an active or a sitting principal officer of IPOB that Mazen Amdekan is in support of what she and her group have been doing all this while, whereas it is not true. Now, God is warning her and her group through this very prophecy because I can hear a voice saying that these are closing up on her. These are closing up on her. It is important you share this video to all 
IPOB principal officers, especially the female pr principal officers, those of them, whether um, you know them or not, if, if you know them one-on-one -on -one or not, share the message to them. Also, share this message among the IPOB hierarchy in general because she may be related to one or two persons that is a serving or a sitting IPOB principal officer. By now, some of you will know that when I release a prophecy, it comes to manifestation. I only say things that God wants me to say. Any prophecy that God has given to me to release, to make public, I make it public. There are many other prophecies I've given out privately, but the ones that God asked me to make a video of them and make them public, I obey because I didn't call myself. God has a way of reaching his people. So you will share this message because I believe it's going to save her. I saw, I saw blood stain on her chest. I saw blood stain on her chest as she lay with her back on the ground. One of her loyalists killed her. One of her loyalists, a member of a group with whom she had been carrying out some of these activities I've mentioned, killed her. <laughs> By now, some of you will know that God speaks through me. So I believe that this prophecy is going to save her and also her group. This prophecy will save her and her group. I believe, I believe, I believe because I've prayed for her. Even before I come to, before I decided to make this video. So your duty now is to share this message among all the female IPOB principal officers and also in IPOB forums until this message gets to her. Immediately this message gets to her, she will be convicted. I am telling you, immediately this very message gets to her, she will be convicted that she is the one. She knows herself. I don't want to go into pictorial description. I always deliver prophecies in accordance, strictly how God has asked me to deliver it. I don't like making too much emphasis when I'm giving prophecies. I say things that are within the direction of the Holy Spirit specifically so that the message can be so clear and well understood. So that is it. Remember I said, that she has been carrying out this very act of intimidation and diabolism and gangsterism behind the knowledge of Mazin Namdekan. It's not at the orders of Mazin Namdekan because some people have been tempted to believe that in as much as she is a sitting IPOB principal officer that she's acting on the orders of Mazin Namdekan, whereas it is not true. So make sure you send a message across to her.